It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. We got another teaser, actually a bunch of teasers for The Ones Who Live, which we're going to be breaking down in this video. These teasers are actually pretty cool, and some of them actually connect to some of the scenes that were in the trailer. So we're going to be connecting the dots as far as some of the scenes are concerned in these teasers. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break this down. Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that said, let's dive right into it. This shot was in one of the teasers and it's actually an extended version of the scene that we saw in the trailer where Michonne basically shoots something that has like a hook on it towards the hurt that we see here. A lot of people thought that she's going to grab a walker with that and it's like a hook. Obviously, in this shot, we see that there is a fire, which means that Michonne's weapon probably shot some sort of grenade. Now, she could obviously grab some of these walkers and use them as her pets, we can call it. But when it comes to that weapon, I think it's a grenade launcher. And this sort of proves that. We also got this pretty cool shot in the teaser where Michonne basically has this angry face and she heads towards the herd. This is obviously connected to the previous shot that we just looked at. There was also this shot in the teaser where we can basically see Michonne has like a surprised expression on her face. So she saw something. She might have seen that cruise ship that was in the trailer, the abandoned cruise ship, which had the banner safe harbor on it. And obviously in the background, we do see the survivor, the shorter survivor that was with her, who we actually saw in the trailer who talked to her about the Japanese writing on the phone that she had. This connects to this shot that was in the trailer. Obviously, it's from the same scene. Michonne is seeing something. And in the background, that survivor that I mentioned, I don't know his name, but he is running after Michonne. There was also this shot of Michonne in some sort of a corridor with a flashlight. We can see that there are either two survivors following her or two walkers, like her walker pets maybe. This connects to this shot that was in the trailer where we see Michonne in the same place with the flashlight but we don't see the survivors or walkers behind her. Then we got this pretty interesting and cool shot of Rick. He's looking up at someone. I'm thinking that he's looking at someone in the balcony of an apartment building or something. But this is pretty cool because it is, of course, inside of the Civic Republic or maybe something connected to the Civic Republic, not necessarily the Civic Republic itself. The reason why I say that is because everyone has that same CRM jacket that has the orange around it, which obviously Rick is also wearing. And we know that only people who are in the CRM's work camps wear that, which means this is either a space dedicated to these, let's call them prisoners, or workers, or if it's the Civic Republic, then it's weird that all of these people that are workers are gathered together, unless this is where they're picked up or dropped off after their work shift or something like that. And then we have this pretty cool shot of Michonne. She has some sort of mask on her face and she's killing walkers. And obviously the surrounding area is yellow. The reason for that is because this is probably the aftermath of the scene that was in the trailer where a helicopter drops some sort of mustard gas or some type of gas to wipe out the survivors in this particular area. Something that they've done in World Beyond. And then we have this final shot in the teaser that I want to mention. This is pretty cool. Obviously Rick is killing a walker with his hammer but the other hand is attached to a chain. Now. Obviously, we've seen a lot of shots with Rick in this area where he's killing these walkers that are burning, but we didn't really see a clear shot of his left hand. Now, obviously, we see that clearly. Now, why do I even say that? Obviously, a big theory is that Rick is going to lose his hand, and the big theory is that this is where he loses his hand. He has to chop off his own hand to basically be able to escape. 
because the chain is preventing him from leaving. Now, obviously the CRM is in the background. They were responsible for putting him here. It's either a test or they're putting him there till he dies. So let's just entertain the idea that Rick does chop off his own hand. I don't think he's going to be able to get far. And I think that it's unlikely that he's going to lose his hand. I don't think he's going to chop off his hand. But that's the theory that's circulating. That this is where Rick chops off his hand because he has to escape from the walkers and because he's chained. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.